Hi, this is a quick guide to get you familiar with Task Force Radio. First things we'll look at is some settings. Task Force Radio gives you three-dimensional sound in-game. So if somebody is speaking on my left-hand side, it will come through my left-hand side speaker and or headset. And if somebody was speaking on my right, similarly. Uh, the 3D audio uh, is distance dependent. So if you're close enough to somebody, you will hear the audio. As they move further away from you, then the audio uh, level will decrease until eventually you can't hear them. There's a, one basic setting for configuring how you speak in game and that is the volume setting. So if you hit left control and tab, it'll bring up and give you the options. There's three modes, yelling, whispering, or just normal. Uh, this is only for the 3D sound whenever you're speaking. It has nothing to do with the radios. Now let's go and have a look at the radios. There are two types of radios in game and TFR. There is the short range, uh, which either gives you a two or a five kilometer distance uh, beyond like the edge of like two or five kilometers, depending on the radio. The audio will start to break up and eventually you just won't hear anything at all. To transmit in the radio in short range, you press the caps lock key and that's me transmitting and then take your finger off it. You stop transmitting. Uh, the, the interface, uh, I'll just show you quickly the short range radio I have. If you hold down left control and P, it brings up the UI. Okay, so this is the channel. So we're in channel one, and this is the frequency that channel one is currently transmitting on. If you want to change the preset channels, just press this little button here to go up through them, and at the bottom to go back through them. If we wish to override a frequency preset, uh, for example, uh, in our fire teams, we tend to use alpha fire team, which would be radio frequency 100, Bravo would be 200, and Charlie would be 300. So to set those up, what we'll do is you select the numbers, and to enter a new number, you go to the keypad on your computer on the right-hand side and enter your new number. So let's go 100 and hit enter and that now set channel one preset to be transmitting and receiving onto 100 megahertz we can move up to the next preset we do the same thing again 200 and ENT and go to three and we can cycle through which preset we're currently using just with the same button so that's great now one other setting we have for the radios is which actual ear to hear specific radios out of. Now if you go and hold down the control key, that's left control, and use the arrow keys, that will set uh, that the short range 152 is only heard on my left ear. Uh, right arrow, that is right only and forward arrow that's left and right that's usually the default one so i'm just going to set my short range to left only right now as i'm a team leader here i'm carrying two radios i have a short range and a long range and to pull up the user interface for the long range it's left alt and p this interface is obviously slightly different as you can see the numbers correspond to the preset channels so if I just click any of these buttons, it'll cycle through the preset channels. I'm just going to go to channel one. And it's similar to the short range. If I want to change this transmitting and receiving frequency, I just select it. And that's obviously using highlight from your mouse. I'm going to type in five zero because 50 is what we normally use for a uh, long range communications and hit FREQ. So that basically means channel one is now set to 50 megahertz. And if I hit the transmit key, which in the case of the long range is left control and caps lock. And you can see it lights up on the lower right corner there. It means I'm transmitting on channel one and it's frequency 50. Just take my hand off those keys and we're back. And for the long range radio, similar to the short range radio, we have the ability to set which ear we want it coming out of. And to do that, we hold down the left alt key. And that's the arrow keys yet again. So I can do left, right, left and right. And I'll just select right at this time. So it basically means at the moment, if somebody transmits on radio frequency 100 on short range, I'm going to hear them in my left ear. And if somebody else transmits on radio frequency 50 on the long range, I will hear it in my right ear. So it's good for separation. 
and that's the very basics of how to use TFR and set it up.